if you imagine the surface of the Earth, and you imagine standing with your friend at the equator, and you, you agree to walk due north, so you set off. Now, the parallel lines on the surface of the Earth are lines of longitude. So what you find is you get closer to your friend as you head to the North Pole. And in fact, if you got to the North Pole, you bump into them. So if you didn't know that you were moving on a curved surface, you would conclude there was a force of attraction between you, pulling you together, because you were minding your own business, trying to walk parallel to your friend, but you kept getting closer. You get closer because you're on a curved surface. And that's exactly the way that Einstein's theory works. So that's kind of interesting. And, and that provides the, the kind of explanation in rough terms for why things fall at the same rate in a gravitational field. It's just that they're minding their own business, following the same straight line through the same curved space. So you think, okay, beautiful. Um, it makes some predictions that were better than Newton's. It predicts the orbit of Mercury more accurately, for example. But then Einstein noted, it's a very long answer to a simple question, I know. Then Einstein noted, and, and, and with, with others actually, um, that something that was a, he described himself as the most audacious leap he'd ever taken. He actually wrote to a friend and said, uh, that this m suggestion may confine me to a madhouse or see me confined to a madhouse. So audacious is it? But he realized that you have a theory that tell, it tells you, if you put a sun there, a big blob of mass, it tells you what happens to space and time, how it curves. So it in, in a sense tells you the story or the history and future of a solar system, and that worked very well. So Einstein said, okay, well, therefore, could I not apply this to a universe? If I knew the matter distribution of the entire universe, would my theory tell me the history, the past, present, and future of the universe in the same way that it allows me to predict the orbit of planets 